Kamusta po kayong lahat? Welcome po sa aking channel Filipino in Ghana, Africa. Ako po si JP at kung bago lang po kayo sa channel na ito, don't forget to subscribe at i-hit nyo po ang notification bell para manotify po kayo sa mga susunod na video. Ngayong araw po ay magtatanong naman po tayo ng isang driver kung ano po yung kanyang buhay dito sa Ghana bilang isang driver. Uh, good morning, Charlie. How are you? I'm fine, brother. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Michael. Okay. Michael, how's your day? Oh, not bad. It's good. Uh, how's life here as a driver in Accra right now? The best in Accra. Yeah. How's life in Accra now? As a how's life in Accra as a, as a driver? Uh, Accra is the, the market center. Market center. Yeah. So everybody is driving to town to see what is going on in town. Uh huh. How long you been driving uh, Uber, or how long you you oh, drove your driving? One, one, one year, two months. One year, two months. How's life on that year? How is? Do you enjoy driving? Yeah, yeah, I enjoy driving. Does it helps you on your everyday or in your you know daily needs, or does it help you to sustain the family? I drive Uber every day. Only Sundays is my off day. Sundays. Yeah. Only Sundays is my resting day. Uh -huh. How's life here in Accra right now? Mm, things are going up. Going hard. Yeah, going hard. Like they are increasing the food. And things are they are increasing the city market. So that maybe if you go to market to buy something, if you the budget, the time you go there, the budget has changed. Oh really? Yes. So it's very difficult now. The the prices increased, and it's so hard to buy some uh, yeah, daily needs. Maybe if you budget like something like hundred cities, the time you go to the market, it's more hundred cities. So you have to return back home and pick another money. Mm -hmm. In a day, how much is your budget? Hundred or more? More than hundred. More than hundred. As an Uber driver, or yes. How much is the range of your daily income? If it is okay for you to mention it. Uh, for me, I just every day budget hundred like three hundred cities a day. Mm -hmm. Before I close. Before you close. Yeah. But that three hundred, there are some percentage goes to the online platform. Are there's a there's a budget. There's a percentage. Goes to the online platform on that run, right? Yeah. After the 300, maybe I buy for like 150. So left like 150, uh, 150 additional. Mm -hmm. then, uh, then I'll pay my service fee. So the rest is for me and the and the sales and my sales. Uh huh. These cars belong to you? No, it's for someone. Ah, you're for someone. So you're driving for someone. Yes, please. Well, for now, it's very difficult to get a car like this. How much is a car like this? Rather, this car is very expensive. Why? It's because before it's cheaper, right? First, it's it's what cheaper because now the people like like comfortable. Yes. The way, yeah. So that that now this is very cheap. They like very expensive in the market. How That's, much is like this now? Well, they said this one like twenty twenty six thousand. Uh huh. Right now it's better to 40, 40 something. 40 something cities? Yeah. 40 Thousand. No, Ghana is something you, something you can get at least like 32. 32? Yeah. It first, can, it was, it's too first, much. Yeah, first of all, 26, 25, you will, you will get some. Mm -hmm. But right now, because they're comfortable and yeah. they're poor consumption, they like to use this car. What do you enjoy the most as a driver? Yeah. What do you enjoy the most as a driver? Oh, if, if it like there's not in this uh, in this uh, country, there's no opportunity, there's no job. So like driving this Uber is better. Yeah. You have to feed your family and your yeah. friends at least day day in day out. Get something to eat and get something to feed someone. 
That's true. And at the end of the day, you're all you're earning something. You earn something to feed someone who's in need of something. That's true. Uh, which one is better, driving in the morning or driving at night? Driving in the morning is good. Driving at night is very risky. Risky. Yeah. Well, night why night. have you experienced something bad before at the evening? Uh, me, for me, they, I don't drive at uh, at night. But people have seen something like driving in the night is very risky because people can attack you on the maybe or uh -huh. a place where there's nobody around. Uh -huh. They can cross you and take your phone, your money, and the rest. And they are not lucky to do take your car and walk. Along. Really? They're also taking cars? They take, they take car cars when you're driving at night, at night. Very risky. Have you heard someone that has been robbed before? Oh, of course. In, uh, our, we, have a, we, have, we have a page where, like, where like, we share information uh -huh. about what is going on in the town and places. If there's a traffic around this place, uh -huh. someone, someone might pass it here, so you give an announcement. There's the traffic around uh, Bema Pam, so okay. that, yeah, so that means you have to use your other routes. People have been seeing a lot of about information. They are taking our pass, our money, our phone. Wow, that's really bad. Yes, yeah, at night. But that, uh, see, uh, what do you call it? What that incident? Where it happened usually? Because, for example, uh, here in Laponi, that situation that incident always happened is there's any specific place or no but have they uh, caught or catch someone before yes please. and then the car has been retrieved definitely the car was like the truck car uh -huh. So when, when the thing happened, yes, the person had to find another phone to call the car owner. Uh -huh. This is what that happened. And everything that's like the thing happened, the car owner locked the engine. Uh -huh. So the car cannot move. So the but car was but your car has a GPS, right? Yes. Yeah, so that one you can track it. They can track but it. But the GPS is, is the phone. So if the person takes the phone, you can't see the GPS. Wow. But the tracker is about the car. When yes. the car is moving, the car owner can see wherever we are going. That's true. But we re that at night you really need to be careful, right? At night, yeah, very careful. Right now, there's, there's a mo there's, the there's the property is about if you have a weapon on you and the police see it, the police are, will be questioning you a lot. Uh -huh. If you are, if guests not take it, they will find you something before they allow you to go. Uh -huh. Because you are protecting yourself with the weapon. They are telling me that you use the weapon to maybe to rob the the. The person. Yes. Yeah, so right now, as nice, we don't have any weapon to protect ourselves. Yeah. We're just real driving. So just when someone's trying to do something, you don't know. That's true. You really need to be careful at driving here in Accra. So it's very risky. The Accra night is very, very risky. Wow, that's most scary. Most of places, like most of our roads, are very risky in the night. Yeah, because there's no, uh, tra what do you call that, street lights. Most of the streets. And most of the places you have streets are by, because of the place is very quiet. Yes. And normally cars pass once, once, once. Yeah. So people have targeted that place to be like a danger zone. Mm -hmm. where, where they have been doing their own thing around the night. So because if one can pass, they rob their another car. Mm -hmm. Before another car will go out, they finish the first, the first place already. Maybe another one will come. Probably like the cars are passing, like passing. Speed, 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 like that is. Mm -hmm. There's definitely, there's no be like any danger zone. Yeah. So sometimes if there's a, a, a street light on the way, uh, people have attacked mm -hmm. Well, that's a great uh, news or great info about driving in Accra. So, uh, yun po, narinig nyo po ang kanyang kwento bilang isang driver po dito sa Accra. Narinig din po natin kung ano yung sinabi niyang delikano po, kapag nagmaneho ka ng gabi dito sa Accra. Kung bago lang po kayo ulit sa channel na ito, don't forget to subscribe. Maraming maraming salamat po at sana po ay nagustuhan nyo po ang aking video. Kung may mga katanungan po kayo sa mga susunod na video, don't forget to comment lang po. Thank you, Michael, for having a small chat with me. 
hope to see you again, na? Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye.